What's up, Creepers and Geekers, Chris, the Atari Creep. How's everyone doing today? Let me take a, a sip of my still scolding hot coffee because it hurts so good. Mmm. God damn, that's hot. How's everyone doing today? Hey, I want to show you something real quick. Aside from the obvious, um, you know what I'm holding in my hands? Not just a port of Dracula. Not just a port of Beam Rider, which is amazing, by the way. You know, I absolutely love the Atari 2600 Porter Beam Rider. I like this one a little bit more to give you an idea of how good this port is. But what you're looking at here is my entire Intellivision collection. Entire. Everything. Anything that has to do with intelligent television you're looking at. As far as what I have collected. Um, I don't have any Intellivision stuff, really. I got a couple games. I used to have a system and, and a bunch of cartridges. Um... But you know how it goes. Some some things come, some things go, and okay, sera, sera. So why are we talking about two cartridges for the Intellivision? Well, we're going to be talking about Intellivision and their uh, attempt at uprising into the market. How cool is that? Um, you know, an interesting question came up on the Atari.io forums. Um, a gentleman had said something to the tune of, paraphrasing, of course, Name a console that you hated back when it was, uh, you know, still fresh and relevant, but you absolutely love today and you collect for it. And I did say the Intellivision. And I was kind of, I was being a little bit of a brat. You know what I mean? It's not that I hated the Intellivision. In fact, I loved the Intellivision. I was more jealous of it when it was still, you know, market uh, fresh. Um, but I only knew one family that had one. Uh, my friend Tammy's older brothers had one in their bedroom, and very rarely did I get a chance to go in there and play it. But when I did, it was it was it was great, you know. It was something different. Yeah, spoiled, spoiled. I mean, I had the Atari stuff, and all my friends had Sega, and and, and the and I had Nintendo eventually, um, Coleco. But there was just that that one system that always, and maybe because I couldn't get my hands on it too often, that just had this 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 aura around it of just different, special. And of course, the graphics were a little bit better. The sounds were great in the Intellivision. I love, I could listen to in headphones, just the Intellivision sounds. It's really great. So I did like the Intellivision quite a bit. I've, I've had Intellivisions. Um, I got that flashback, which I didn't think was really all that great. Um, I had a few games on it that I liked, but for the most part, it was kind of mad. You know what? Let me shut my vibration thing off here. Hold on. Sorry about that. That's just how it goes here at the, uh, the old creep farm. So what are we talking about today? Well, obviously, the, um, the title of the video should have told you everything. Hello. Um, first and foremost, before we get into what little I do know, I want to say a huge thank you to Brian's Man Cave, great channel, and also the No Swear Gamer for bringing this to light in my world. Um, between the Atari VCS, formerly known as the Atari Box, going live yesterday, and God damn, are they doing well. $2 million just about, last time I checked. Wow, I can't wait to see where this goes. But between that and a whole bunch of other things, I haven't really had my ear to the ground. And uh, it was through them that I found out about this. And I'm excited to get it out to you folks who may not be following them and spread the word. Now, it's kind of odd that we had the Coleco thing going on. Let's not get going on that. Now we have the Satari thing, and now we have the Intellivision. The Holy Trinity of the second generation. I like to call it the second generation of video gaming. So, one of two things are going to happen here. Either it's going to be glorious and there'll be peace on earth. And everybody will just have nothing but love for each other. And we'll be out there picking daisies and dancing around. And, and very pastel colored clothing. You know, utopian society, if you will. Or the bowels of hell are going to open up and swallow us fucking whole, and that's going to be the end of all humanity. Either way, I'm still excited. I don't care. I don't care what the result is. But, so it turns out a gentleman named, and excuse me, I got notes, okay? It's, not, it's funny, there's not really much to talk about, but I still have notes because this doesn't work very well anymore. Uh, <laughs> Tommy Tellerico, I love that fucking name. He's a, he's a video game music composer, and he's also in charge of the whole um, video game live concert series. Um, he is part owner of Intellivision Entertainment after Keith Robinson died. Did I say I always want to call him Richardson? Keith Robinson died. And he is also, from my understanding, the president of the company now. 
So it was him, I believe, that announced that Intellivision is going to be trying to come into the market with a new console. Not necessarily to compete with what we already have, um, especially not trying to do with the Atari VCS. I'm going to try to stop calling it Atari Box. It's hot. Okay. But it's not going to be doing what the Atari VCS does. And obviously, it's not going to be anything as powerful as, say, your, your Xboxes, PlayStations, and, of course, the Switch. It's going to be like a general little fun family console that can appeal to everybody in the family. Um, something similar to how the Wii was marketed, I, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, it's going to have games built in at launch. I'm going to assume that they're going to be older titles. Maybe there'll be new titles in that older style. I don't know. We don't know anything yet. Uh, but I do know that several of the original television programmers are on board. No, I don't know if they're on board as far as making games. I mean, that would make sense. But maybe they have some shares in the company or something like that. And they're, and they're corporately involved and they're overseeing that aspect. Who knows? But the right people are in place here. Um, the only other person that we really need, unfortunately, has passed away, Keith Robinson. So, you know, may he rest. You know, thank you for your wonderful toys, buddy. Um, but he's not trying to compete with anything. But it'll have some games built in. But you'll also have the ability to download games um, via Wi-Fi onto an SD card. Which is pretty cool. It's not as cool as having cartridges, but I mean, could they really make that financially uh, acceptable kind of thing in today's? So, if you have multiple SD cards, you can have a huge library of games depending on how they build this thing. Um, they are planning on making a new controller for it. So, that would be cool because the, the Intellivision controller left a whole lot to be desired. But if it's what you had, you got used to it. And of course, you're nostalgic for it. But they're also talking about 10 games at launch. And I don't know if that means what they're putting into the game, into the system, or if that's going to be on top of that, that you can pick through and download. Obviously, there'll probably be some kind of a service to pay X amount of dollars for whatever game or what have you. This would be great for a lot of homebrews. Um, the homebrew scene in the television community is just amazing. It's been blowing up a lot lately. And I've been watching it and, again, getting jealous because – just can't get my hands on that stuff because there's no point in buying it. I don't have anything to play it on for right now. Why do I have these? Because it was an opportunity. That's why. So shut the fuck up. So today on the 31st, they are going to go live on Facebook to give more information. Now, the reason I didn't wait for that uh, to make this video is because I will be at work. Okay. My afternoon shift will start shortly before that. And I won't have time to watch it and then relay information to you. So go ahead and sign up for their Facebook page. It's, it's in television entertainment at noon Pacific time today. That's that's West Coast time. It should be about 2 o'clock, maybe 3 o'clock. We two or three hours. I don't care. Either way, I won't be available to watch it. You should be available to watch it, I hope. So you watch it and you you come back and tell me what they said. And uh, hopefully they'll, they'll leave the video up there so I can watch it. And then come back and tell you shit you already know. Um... They're also planning on releasing information. I don't know if it's an official, here we go, on October 1st of this year, too. So this fall is going to be pretty exciting for information, and I'm pumped up for this, um, regardless of any naysayers that may come out of the woodwork. I think there's probably going to be less for this one, because it seems like in television, entertainment is, is, is taking probably a little more care into this. But we'll see. It literally just got announced. So for all we know, it could be a dumpster fire. I don't know. Another cool thing is if you go over to the Intellivision Entertainment web, uh, website, I'll try to remember to put that link down below. Probably won't because, again, this doesn't work as well. But I'll most certainly give it a shot. If not, go over to Brian Man Cave. Brian's Man Cave. He's got it in his description. Same topic. So there you go. But if you sign up for their newsletter regarding the information on this, the first 100,000 people, and I do find this interesting. I'll tell you why here in a second, obviously. Um, the first 100,000 people that sign up, will be put into a list of people who have the opportunity to purchase a special unit that will not be available in stores. Do you hear what I just said there? This one unit will not be available in stores. That's not the important part. It's the fact that they're talking about actually bringing this to, to traditional retail. And that's that's what's getting me a little excited. Um, I don't know if they want to go crowdfunding like the Atari cats are doing. And I don't know how they're going to go about with getting this thing produced, funded, and all that crap. Um, hopefully we'll find out 
that this afternoon, if not October 1st. But they plan on actually going to the store and they're saying that right up front. So you don't have to go through that rigmarole that, say, the Atari VCS is going. And you could just wait for it to come out in the store, see a review, and then go go to your Walgreens or your, your, your whatever, wherever it's going to be, and pick one up. So, guys, a new Intellivision. It's going to have modern stuff. It's going to have classic stuff. Nothing new that we haven't heard from anyone else. But it just seems like their mindset is in the right place. And it's going to be a budget-friendly console also, from what I understand. And it's aimed towards just getting a family together in front of the boob tube. How many of you cats are old enough to know what the fuck a boob tube is? And have fun with each other. So, guys, what are your thoughts about this? Uh, are you? Could you get excited about something? I'm not asking you if you are. But could you get excited about something like this if the right information came out today? On October 1st, I'd be, inter I'd be very interested to know people's thoughts on this. So, guys, thanks as always for watching. Go ahead and leave feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback to the Creep is positive. Hope everyone's doing well. And until next time, take care, creep it real. And bye bye What am I doing here? I'm going to shut the camera off and not edit it out. Oh, my God.